welcome to episode, uh, oh, what episode is it? 112? No, it's 113. Damn, that means all my social media posts were wrong. Let's hope nobody notices. Um, episode thir- 113, and, and tonight, it's going to be an odd one. I'm feeling more nervous than normal, um, because we're doing the Vectrex which <clears throat> was a self-contained system that um, had a CRT built into it, a vertically orientated. It was about this big. The whole console was about this big, which meant you didn't need a telly to play it. And it was unusual in that it was. I'm almost fairly confident in saying it was the only con console that worked with vector graphics which uses mathematical modeling to make straight lines rather than um rather than the, the raster uh pixelated graphics that we're used to um so there were some famous games that used vector graphics um asteroids is going to be the one that you'll immediately know and star wars the arcade game a favorite of mine um, also vector graphics so uh, I, I've got no idea what these games are and I know we sometimes have a random game night and we don't know what we're playing but sometimes you kind of can get an idea I'm, I've only got a vague idea at the very end of this when we get to the V's but I've got no idea so uh, because it's uh, portrait orientated, we're going to be using the the patented retro lounge vertical screen. So I think we should uh, boop across to that now, should we? Boop. There we go. Look at that. So uh, Vectrex up in the uh, top corner, underneath the email address, um, over over that way. Right, right up that direction. Um, <coughs> And this is, every every Vectrex game has this splash screen. So, there we go. Um, also, because, because I'm not sure about the quality of any of the games, we're going to be playing, um, like, some games that have homebrew fixes of, of proper games that came out, and we'll be playing some homebrew games that were just ported across or built specially for the the Vectrex from ooh well the oldest ones from uh, sorry the newest one is from 1999 so way past the life of the Vectrex um right so shall we take a look then and see what's going to happen uh we're going to obviously play them in alphabetical order and um we're starting with B for berserk and this one, as you can see from the title, it's the Fred Taft Fixes. So I assume he's fixed some of the problems. Oh, and it looks like it's already started. And it sounds a bit quiet, does it? It might have irritating noise that we don't like anyway. Oh, all right, it's disappointing. I can't move me little fella. So let's check our... Uh, Let's check our controls, shall we? One eternity later. Hmm. See, I know the nature of the show is that I don't know these games, and I don't start them beforehand to add a little bit of uh, frisson to the uh, to the proceedings. But this is one of the times that I wish I'd played. That I wish I'd at least found out if the um <sighs> see the pad is connected okay i don't think it's the pad oh whoa bloody stupid game it's working now all right crisis averted 
think. It's still not great sounding though. Uh, now, strangely, um, this game and its sequel, Frenzy, is um, it's a game I've played an awful lot of on the ClickVision. It's not very nice sounding, though, is it? Ah, you see, there is a game like this where the, it bounces and you can do ricochets. The the name of the Irish cowboy. Okay, so as you can see, even though it's small, um, all the graphics are still quite crisp uh, because of Vector. They'd be even crisp on a real screen. This is emulated, obviously. Um, that's, that's just horrible sounding. And there were a number of games like this. Um, I think Robotron would probably class similar run through him. Oh, 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 wow, he moves quick. Evil Otto, I think. Oh, maybe that's the other game. I'm sure it's Evil Otto. Um, yeah. So do we get any benefit from going diagonally then? Is that the way it go? Oh, I'm leaving. I think I may have just had a Facebook message from um, Nutty Cluster saying she can't get any internet. Nope, you can shoot him in the other games. So, I do actually own um, a Vectrex but it's broken um, and yes yes I could have got it out to show you it but um, I didn't uh, basically because the struts that hold the CRT in place are either buckled or not very well and um, It all needs putting back together properly. I didn't want to lift it up. It couldn't handle all those bullets just then, could it? Bit of flickering going on. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Oof. Should check my messages really, but now that I've got it working, I don't want to stop playing it! Now I'm hoping this, they, um, now that I've got the controllers working, that it'll work fine. Oh! Not a lot of uh, option then. Um, ah, right, one sec, let me just, uh, let me just check and make sure that um, it was not your cluster saying, I'm stuffed. Um, no, it wasn't. Okay. Come on, let's play one more. One more berserk. Then we'll move on. So the controller um, for the Vectrex slots into the actual um, 
console itself into the bottom of the console and um, it's got a joystick and four buttons on it so all the games we'll be playing tonight should be easily controlled with that saying in the other games uh, the other versions of this game I don't think you can touch the walls but I don't oh yeah you can't touch the walls on this one either I thought I'd got close to them before it must be some collision detection issue that was just a getting shot by a bullet issue And you can get them to shoot themselves in some of the games. Oh. Tits. Oh, right. Okay, look. There you go. We've, um... We've got it working. That was your first game. That was... Um, uh, Berserk. On the fair tracks. So, we're going to open these one at a time now. And see if that helps. Um... So let me get you the screen for the next one, because a little bit of a uh, little bit of behind the scenes. What I do is I open all the games, all eight or nine games, in separate windows, and then just uh, hijack them as we move on. That's why we don't use RetroArch, because you can't do that with RetroArch. In some ways, RetroArch might be better. I think it does more consoles, and it does arcade, which we need to get into. Um, it's just you can't open them all at the same time and you have to find one each time you have to find it you can't, I don't don't think you can play a playlist like I've got with OpenMU OpenMU is the most user friendly um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for clean sweep it's bloody talking when I should be looking for the next game I don't know um, okay clean sweep Let's see if this is carried on the... Uh... What's that? Is this, is this Pac-Man? I, I assume I'm supposed to be a vacuum cleaner and we're cleaning up particles of dust, are we? Are we? In which case, what are the little crabby-like things? Oh, how do I get to that? Oh, right. Do I need to go somewhere to empty this now? Oh, no. I, d I don't understand. Nope. Okay. So, when I'm tiny small... Why can't I get there? Those dots are not in a good place. Hope that doesn't stop me from clearing up. So, there must be some way of... Assuming that I am a vacuum cleaner, then it looks like I get to a certain size and I... Can... Or is it when I go into the corners? Right, keep watching, keep watching. Am I going to change shape? Yes, I do. I change shape. Right, okay. So when I'm sort of spherical. Right. So, then. When I turn into that thing, whatever that thing is, I can eat them. Is that correct? Oh, and I turned back just I was going to get it. Ah. Oh. See, it's, it's, it's a little bit off with its collision detection. I feel like I should be getting stuff, and I'm not. I 
And it does make a different noise. To be fair to it. Right, so I've missed one somewhere, have I? Or do I have to get... Oh no, I've done. Hey! Well, that's disappointing. Why can't you see it? That's because... Thank you. It's a good job you're here, Nutty Cluster. It's a shame you got so much lag that we've been playing about 10 minutes before we noticed, but it's a good job you're here anyway. Ah, uh, okay. So, whoa. Right, I think what we're going to do... Oh, we're going to carry on playing. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so... Yeah, all that talking I just did. Um, these are the pictures that I was talking about. Um, a a Pac-Man clone of some description. The fact it's called Clean Sweep is why I think it was a... I'm a vacuum cleaner? Question mark? Um... But I don't know what the snappy things that are trying to get me are. We'll get to the other one in time. Oh, now, now I'm not eating. So how do I... Uh, how do I empty my bag? Oh! Arseholes. So if you take too long, you get extra... Snappers. They're like the creatures from Donkey Kong 2. Oh, sorry, Donkey Kong Jr. Oh, it's less controllable like that. Come on, fella. I mean, the do once they get a sniff of you, they do follow you. He says as it moves away, making a complete liar out of me. Right, so that doing something in the middle end did something. All right, so we've cleaned two screens, and you've seen me—you've only seen me clean one, but we have done it. See, I've stopped picking things up. Why is that? That's why. I do need to empty my sack. I'm sure, she's concentrating. Oh, no. Alright, it's quite passable. I quite quite like it. It controls reasonably well. It's little chompy things are bastards, but Yes. Okay. So that was clean sweep. It's got a horrible sound chip in it, hasn't it? But for a little box like this, from the eighties. Um so, let's... Oh, that's interesting. I've just crashed the emulator. Not open emu. 
Um, that's fine. That's for a game we've played. Let's try a different one. We start. We're going to move on to Mindstorm. Now I can say I'm playing these for about seven or eight minutes each. Um, and we've got eight or nine games. We can always pick more from the list if we run out. It's fine. Just um, giving you some idea of how long this show's going to be. Okay, so we're moving to Minesweep, like I say. Um, so you want to see it. Uh, Oni, Oni, I can't see it. Where is it? It's not on my list. But it's open because I'm looking at it. There we go. Thanks, Streamlabs. Okay, so Mindstorm, I feel... Is it Asteroids? Oh, is it? It's not, is it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh. There we go. So, Asteroids then. This is the perfect machine for Asteroids, because like I say, like I said at the start, it's, um, it is a vector arcade game. Oh, it got me. Dag, now bit. And if you're going to release a vector console, I mean, it should be its an in-game pack, shouldn't it? Should be the game that everybody gets with the console. We just probably couldn't get the license from Atari. Um, so, oh, all the little ones are gonna get me. Now, unlike asteroids, they when you hit a big one, the two little ones appear somewhere else. Oh no. And those ones just appeared on top of me for some reason. And I know I should be using boost and boosting around the screen and shit, but but I find that as soon as I do that, I boost myself into an actual asteroid. I don't actually like moving from the centre when I'm playing Asteroids, if I can help it. Yeah, they, they arrive very close to you. I'm not sure I like that. Finish the level. I think you might be slightly off to one side, might you? There's plenty. Whoa! In fact, let's just... Ah, oh, that's irritating then, because if I move it that way, is it going to move to middle when I do it? Oh, near enough. Right, so we have to avoid. Oh, have I broke it? I think I might have. Whoa. Nope. That's going to make a problem when I... Uh... Yep, I knew that was going to happen. See, about staying in the middle. See?
Now, I didn't see an option there for two players. I know some of these games do have two players. Oh, what shows my shoot button again? Not that one. Not that one. That one. Oh, where did that one come from? I wonder if this is a case where it should just fire carefully and just pick off the ones. Nope, that's not the case. <laughs> Why did I even think that would be the case? See, now we forgot the little ones. All right. Oh. Then there's a big one that's come to you and you're like, oh shit, I've got a fire on that one instead. Oh, lots coming towards me now. Oh my god, I'm just going to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Shit. See, you do have to jet away from them ones, don't you? Or use your thingy boost. Has it sent me back to level one? Oh, I died. Died and started again without knowing. Blew my nose off that one, did. Shit. Hey, what are you doing? At least we got through that first round a lot a bit quicker for you. I wonder if we could try not shooting that square one for now. Oh. Oh, bastard. Because I think it starts you at the start of the thing again, doesn't it? Thank you. 
Rub me ass. Oh! I don't think we're getting past level two. I think this is as much as you can But as you can see, the ship's changed a little bit and uh, gets more difficult. Didn't get to the right button fast enough. Oh well, there you go. That was Mind Storm. Ah, okay. Let's move on to our first homebrew. Um, this is from 1996. I'd be curious to see exactly what it is. Um, I'm hoping it's an actual game. We'll see. Uh, Nope, now it's not showing it. Now it is. There we go. So. I probably should point out that um, the Vectrex was created by MB Games. Milton Bradley. So. So what have we got here? Patriots. This is called by John Donzilla. Oh. oh, is this is this missile command? I think it's missile command. Nope. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, a bit of a bugger playing with a joypad. This isn't going well, is it? Ooh. We are going to die. No more. Whoa! Run out of bullets. Nope, that was silly. Little shit. Oh, <laughs> bastard. Oof. Stressful. Can't see he's getting past this one. Not if I keep doing stupid stuff like that.
Shouldn't really bother with them ones because they're... Ooh. Wow. What happened there? Shit bag. Wow. Go on, we'll have to have another go. Remember 2835. Oh, I'm still doing it. Yeah, bastard. Oh, I see. It does that when you've run out of bullets. So I did worse than the first time. Probably only need to fire at the ones to protect my villages, then I guess. Uh oh. Now, missile command in the arcade wasn't wasn't vector based, but it kind of gave that impression because of its lines. Oh, I've lost a gun. Oh, it got it. Bugger. Ah, well, 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 well. Uh, so that uh, that was Patriots which was a make a remake of um, Missile Command. And we'll probably be seeing some more remakes later on from the homebrew scene. But for now, let's move on to uh, Star Castle. Again, I have absolutely no idea what, what these are. Um, Let's get you the screen and have a look. Okay. So it auto starts as well. These games just actually just start. Star Castle! Um, what do we have to do here? 
Boo, die horribly. Right. Okay, so we've got a bit of shooting us. Okay. Can we shoot them? Nope. Maybe we can shoot them. Is it? Oh, it's a bit like Yard's Revenge, is it? Yeah, you can shoot them. All right. Ooh, but you have to be dead on looking at Oh, I didn't get around quick enough. Okay, okay. What do the other buttons do? Oh, right. Come on, it'd be nice just to get one of these. Oh! I guess, like Gear's Revenge, it um, gets you when you open the wall. Bugger. Let's try again. Oh, what's game two? So this is just one of the games that can do two players. Let's just play the same game again so we've got it sorted, shall we? All right, so it gets bigger. So, then is it a... Am I, am I supposed to not block all the wall away? Because it does get bigger when I knock the last level and I just shoot carefully, maybe. Oh. Ooh. How are you, shy talk? How am I going to avoid that? Where's my thrust button? See, now it's rebuilt. There must be some strategy to this. Oh, that's not the strategy. It's not. <laughs> Do you think we're going to get past the first, the first stage? Don't rightly know. So. Perhaps. Oh no, that just, that just <laughs> answered the question that I never even asked yet. See, so, yeah, when you knock the last wall away, it does, it respawns, doesn't it? Or regenerates. Ooh. Okay, so we've got... Whoa, I was going to say, we've got a hole to get it, but then it blasted me away. Oh, that's really difficult. Wow. Okay. I did think it would let me at least get it. Oh, what's game two? Is it more difficult? In that case, I don't want to play it. What? They seem a little slower. So. Did I get it? What did it get me? Hey, yeah, got me that time.
Didn't get anything quick enough, did I? Oh, no. As soon as it sees you, you have to be away from it. Away! Got it! Ha! All right, I think, I think, well, I'm not saying I think I get the hang of it because it'll just shoot the shit out of me, won't it? What happened? Oh, for Pete's sake. Dagnabbit. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> weirdly, I don't actually mind that one. Um, there you go, Star Castle. Uh, we may come back to that if we've got time later on. Might even go on a revisit, perhaps. But for now, we're going to move on. And we're going to move on to... Uh, this is a fix. So there's a, there's a Star Trek game on the Vectrex. And this is called Star Trek Debugged. So... One would assume that um, people have fixed whatever the issue was with it. So I thought we'd play the debugged one. Um, however, of course it's not there because we've changed it. There we go. Um, okay. Now, there used to be a vector star trek game in the arcades of which this is not it this is a enterprise simulator by the looks of it oh what's that horrible noise do we fly into that is that where we're heading Oh, what's that? Do we have all the buttons? Don't know yet. Come on, we must have shields and shit. Let's try the other buttons this time. That's pause. Was that for on cannons? Don't know, but that didn't seem to do anything. Sure, they'll come to us. Why are we going sailing out from? So I used to play the one in the arcade quite a lot because it was in a cockpit type thing. Um, I seem to feel it was probably not a great, not a great game, but it did come out on the um, Clicker Vision. I've got it on the Clicker Vision because it came with the Super Con well, the Super Controller played it. It was one of the games that had Super Controller support because it needed photons and shields and warp and that sort of stuff. Maybe we should see what the other games are. Saw it down here somewhere. I don't know what I don't know what that is. I mean this this is a tiny 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 bit like the Star Wars arcade game. Tiny tiny bit. Now I'm not I'm not seeing any indication of the direction I should be going. It doesn't seem to be. I mean, what other lines do we think at the bottom? 
Am I supposed to be following that or shooting it or not that button? I don't know what that is. Right, shooting it don't do it. Oh, oh! Oh, dead straight away. Okay. So, we obviously we jump through. Oh. I can't shoot it! Why can't I shoot it? Oh, goodness. Wow. Well, let me shoot it. Let's do a restart and try. I'm sure it said um, there was a, a, a an option for different players and games. Maybe we can try that. The well-known. Um, oh no, no, no choices, no choices, no choices. It's just this game. So. Stay still, you little bugger. I assume we've got unlimited theses. <sighs> How do I get away from that? Evasive action, evasive action, no. Can't be evasive enough. What on earth do I kill that with? Wow. How do I kill that? How? <laughs> Shit. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> So we just shoot some Klingons first. I wonder if this would be easier to play with a Star, Star Wars controller, you know, with the yoke type thing. Oh, I keep pressing the pause button instead of the fire button. Mexican hat. Or sombrero, if you want. Don't know why we're doing this, because we've got to that stretch of that shit that kills the shit out of us. Tried all my things. I mean, we can't, <laughs> can't get away from it. Maybe it's one of those that at some point we need to read the manual and see what. I mean, how can we? Kill that. Anyway, but we're not. We're not now. We're we're uh, we're moving on. Um, oh, that said, we only played that for three and a half minutes. Is that right? It felt longer than that. I are confused. Uh, let's move into um. These are a bunch of non-official homebrew games for the Vectrex. Um, we're gonna start with V Frogger. And I don't know, I can't think of what it's going to be a clone of or anything, but let's uh, let's have a look. V Frogger by Chris Salomon from 1998. 
Hi. Oh, okay. I think we know what goes on here. Oh, the pause is on a different button this time. Brilliant. Should have missed it then really not sure what happened um now this we obviously we didn't play this when we did our frogger um episode we did an episode on frogger early on um go back check the playlist it'll be in the archive somewhere i don't know why i did that Well, that was just stupid backwards and forwards, and I shouldn't have done that. Gonna be interesting when we get to the last one. Hey! Silly one, it. Hey, look, is that a new record? Is this level two? Everything seems to be moving a little faster. Maybe it is. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? Sinky Turtles. So, considering the limits of the console, it isn't a bad replica of Bastard. It's not a bad replica of Frogger, is it? Particularly. It's alright. Thing about a lot of these games, it's all about patience. Just waiting for the right time. Oh no! Panicked! <laughs> oh, you jackass. I'm not quite sure what the second picture is, you know, when it says, yeah, you've done it. I'm not, and it, it's a picture of a frog, and then it turns into a picture of, I don't know, a happy ghost. Yeah, that, what's that? Oh, run over by the back wheels. I ran over the car. Oh, and again. I think we'll wait this time.
Uh oh. Oh, I'm jumping just as it said out of bounds. Shit. That log doesn't come round fast enough. Shit. See, I wasn't patient then. Gave myself stress. Oh, you can, there's usually a way backwards and forwards. You just... Took a long time to do level two. What? Oh, you're taking the piss. How? 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 <laughs> Shit. Natural death. Oh, did I run out of time? I don't know how I'm going to do this. Wow. Um, okay. No continue. Um, that was V Frogger. One of the homebrew games that... Um, I'm not sure there's a way of hacking the Vectrex to play ROMs. I know there's ever carts for lots of systems where you just get the one cart and then put an SD card in it and you can put all the games on it and still play it on the original console. But I'm not sure if there's one of them for the Vectrex. Uh, so this is probably written just to play. Nah, they must have hacked it, wasn't they? Anyway, that was VFrogger. I'm just speculating wildly in the middle of uh, uh, streaming. Um, yeah, you know, just how it is. Okay, so we're down to our last couple of games now. Um, let's have a look. So, we're going to play... Of course, it's not showing. Uh, Vector Vaders. Uh, this is another game by John Donzilla, uh, who, who did Patriots early on, the Missile Command clone. Feeling this might be a Space Invaders clone. Who knows? Or dares to dream. There you go. 12 years. Did it say 12? I'm sure it said 12. Press button 3 to play. Oh, that, that is button 3. Oh, look, I got that straight away. Oh, that's a bit slow. How do, how do I move? Please don't tell me it moves on there. Uh... Right. Oh no, it doesn't, it it moves left and right with the buttons. How am I supposed to fire as well then? Oh, this is a problem, problem to play. 
and you can only shoot one ball and ball it at once. No way I'll get that, right. Okay, I, I would say probably too slow to play it. Still not got my eye on the speed to the top of the screen. When they start getting faster, I'm gonna get stuffed. Hey, got that one by accident. Starting shooting more now, aren't they? I mean, I'm only persevering with it because I want to see what it's like when it goes faster. I mean, does it have the same bug as um, a Space Invader machine, an arcade machine, where they only go faster at the end because there's less of it to draw and the processor can pick them up better? say it are we oh i don't like that i don't like it oh there you go it's a wild and crazy decision i know but i don't like it um we're gonna uh, move on to our next uh next one um our final one on the list but i feel we might just pick another one out of the list to play um because uh we're nowhere near our time um Granted, there's no rules that says it has to be an hour and a half to two hours. Could just not. This one is called Vectrexians, which I suspect, suspects, might be Galaxians. But again, no idea. I don't know. So, let's have a look. And let's see if it uses a bloody joystick. Rather than going, ooh, ooh, buttons, buttons. Yay, right. Oh, now you see, this one moves better. It feels more like the arcade. It's a big dumping ship, though. It's a bit difficult to move. Oh. Oh, Houston. Oh, they're disappearing now.
Oh, I'm back a shine. Not the game, just I'm playing shine. Um, yeah, they were disappearing then. See, look, what's going on here? I just bloody drove into it like an Egypt. Let's try the other side. Oh, come on. Oh, it's rock hard. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's have another go. Oh, I'll finish my drink. Oh, what? Why would playing what? What's just happened? Um, I'm just gonna do a reset. Um, I was I, I turned away for two seconds to drink my drink and went a little back. It changed game, but it still said it was Vectrexians. Let me just make sure we don't have another. Well, we've only got one open MU open. I can't get past that. How do I get through there? Does one of my other buttons do a shield? No. I have to sh oh Look the I bloody went all the way look Oh it's a bit buggy this isn't it Bit buggy shooting them and they're not disappearing I'm sure you can see that on screen Right, so we ended. Game over. Okay. Player one. New game of Vectrexians. No! What's... What? Oh. So we're playing Mindstorm again. Which seems to suggest that the game was perhaps built on the code of Mindstorm? Question mark? I've got no idea. I wonder what happens if we get to the end of the stage. Does it revert back to a different level of... Super weird. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's a good job I've got nothing against Mindstorm, innit? Still Mindstorm. Wow. Okay. So so we played Vectrexians and we, we've played Mindstorm. So we don't need to play it again. So we're going to move into the uh, super secret um, double probation section where we're going to pick a couple of games at random and we're just going to have a, a look at something else. I know, right? What's going on? Um, so, let's have a look, because obviously I hadn't planned for this. Um, Alright, let's try... 
let's try. Do you think Rockanoids would probably be asteroids? Feels like it, doesn't it? Let's let's go to the bottom, and we'll do Web Wars, and we'll see what Web Wars is all about. Doop do doop doop doop. Let's. Uh... Web Wars, there we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, Tempest, I think. Oh, I'm not sure why it's going sideways, but... Oh, I did. Did Brit... Okay, this, this is a kind of uh, Tempest. I wonder what the other... Do we have other buttons? Oh, I've got a sticky... I don't know. Right, so that one doesn't do anything. So I disappear off the edge of the screen. Right, I don't know how it can shoot that super flying thing. I think I just have to avoid it, do I? So I've got speed options. Oh, maybe I should be shooting. Ah, so this one, you can keep your finger on the button. Oh, by the time I see him, I can't get to him. Got me. Okay, so, so Tempest. Um, another, actually, yeah, that's that was a. I'm sure that was a Vector one as well. Don't think I ever played it in the arcade. Um, I, I feel it had a spinner. And you just zoomed round the circle of the track. Track. Right, do we have options? We don't have options. It's this or nothing. What's that? I don't know what that one is. Let's see if, what, what happens when we use it against something. It doesn't... I don't know what that is. Let's stick with the shooty shooters. Can you not shoot them? I'm sure I had enough bullets in it to make a difference. Uh, and also, I feel on on Tempest, you actually stuck to the lines, so you shot down the lines. And I feel this has got sort of freeform shots. Web Wars. Best make sure I add it to the show notes else I'll forget that I've watched it or played it, not watched it. Open MU won't forget that I've uh, 
done that, but um, okay. Uh, let's um, let's see. What 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 what? Yeah, we've got time for another one, haven't we? We've got time for another one. So then, let's have a look. Um, Bum, 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 bum. What about Starhawk? Am I gonna? Am I gonna wish I'd picked a different one? Oh, let's try Starhawk, shall we? And I think we'll call. Oh, oh, it's a bad thing to say just before you've seen what it looks like in it. But I think we'll call Starhawk our last game for tonight. Okay, let's let's see what we've got with Starhawk. Player and game options again. Okay, is this a Death Star trench that I see before me? I can't aim properly though. Is that? If... No, that's the... I think that's the only button I've got. Yeah, looks like it. Ooh, can't seem to get me eye in now. What's going on? What's that noise? Why, why do I have an error noise? What's going on? <laughs> Okay. Was I shooting the wrong thing? Oh no, it's time. It's time. It's the time of going down. Right. So it, it isn't that. It's shoot as many as you can in a minute. Ooh, I'm doing shit now. I thought I shot quite a lot last time. See, there's some going past you so that you have to get out of the trench and then others come down the trench at you. And you can't hold your, uh, can't hold your finger down with this one. Again, this feels like another one that would play nicely with a, a Star Wars arcade game controller. I'm looking at one. I've got um, There's a site that does a replica of the one that's on the arcade machine. But it's like two or three hundred quid. Which seems a lot for a controller. But you can USB. You can plug it in USB. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm so tempted. Just build a little stand for it to screw onto. And just bonk onto the desk and we we'll get some style, proper Star Wars the arcade game action going then. Ah. Oh. Um anyway. And one day I'll get I'll get my Star Wars the arcade game fixed. And then we'll take the camera and we'll go and set it over my shoulder and see how that looks one day. One day. But that day is not today. That was Starhawk. Glad I didn't have to buy it. All right as a free game. But disappointing to actually play. Although that was only one option, wasn't it? That was only one option. So, before we cruel and unkind to it, let's do a restart and see if there are other options. Because it did say player one, game one, didn't it? But if there are no options, I'm just turning it off. There's an option. What 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 was the option? What's it give you? Oh. Oh. It's made my controls rubbish. I've got no in between. I've got when I press up it goes right to the top. When I press down it goes right to the down. What's going on? Why is it doing that?
can shoot things down the trench. It's annoying me a little bit that it's not right in the middle of the trench. My, my crosshairs are a little bit off, but... I think I've got a better score just by <laughs> sitting in the middle um, and doing that. Oh, dear. Well, look! We've spent over an hour, perhaps a good hour and a half-ish, uh, with the Vectrex. And we do have plenty of other games... So it is possible it might go on the wheel again um, in the next run round. Um, but I think for now, oh, I best just add this to the playlist so that I know when I look at my playlist, I can see it. Um, I think for now, we'll call that a day on the Vectrex. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. Um, but we should move over now to the wheel and the wheel is there Boop. there we go that's the one uh, okay so you know the wheel you don't need any explanation from me let's um, spin it and see what we're doing next week Collections! Okay. Specifically, not arcade collections, because that's a separate one. Um, I'm not sure if I've got any of those put to one side, but we'll have a look and we'll see. And we're going to do collections of games. You know, like when they collect seven Mario games. There won't be Mario, I'm just saying, for an example. Seven of these games, seven of them, whatever games. And we're going to... Or puzzle collection, or, you know, that sort of thing. We're going to be having a look at that. How interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm. So, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you've liked it, then subscribe or comment or all those things that help other people see the show. It's super helpful um, to us. And um, if you want to email us, you can. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Um, that's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. More towards our podcast rather than uh, the Retro Lounge itself. Um, but then you might start listening to us on a Wednesday. Who knows? Uh, so, what else is there? Well, um, you can uh, see... Well, if you're watching this on YouTube then you know we're on YouTube. But if you watch it on YouTube, did you know that you could watch it on Twitch on a Monday night? Like these these people here are. Um, watch us live on Twitch. It's dead easy to do. And uh, we're on every Monday night from 7 o'clock. So uh, that's that. And then um, we're on Facebook, Twitter and TikTok as Snug Radio. We also have a Discord server. There'll be a link somewhere by this video on how to get there and most importantly of all Nutty Cluster who uh, works in the chat room for free is, moderates and all sorts and does all the artwork all the cool stuff you're seeing around me that's all Nutty Cluster and she has a design shop she has a design shop called Inkispiration yes that's right Inkispiration uh, there'll be a link next to the discord link probably and um, she has a shop on Redbubble where you can buy designs. Tell you what, if you're a Taskmaster fan, a, a, a whole host of Taskmaster goodies over there, all your favourite quotes, and some that aren't, all of them on uh, Ink Inspiration um, for you to put on T-shirts, mugs, stickers, all sorts. The more expensive, the better. Yeah. Um, so... That, just head over to that uh, to the Redbubble store and have a look and see see what cool stuff she's got. Um, she's brilliant. So, um, quite not quite as brilliant. Uh, I have a design shop, and it's called the Glorious Idiot. Uh, we do all sorts. Um, I, I, I kind of a, a magpie design. 
aesthetic. I like all, all sorts of stuff, and I can't stick to one thing for very long. Um, so, uh, yes, the glorious idiot on Redbubble and Threadless are places to go to get Tiki's Cats Drinking Coffee, um, retro kind of style stuff, um, Vincent van Gogh rip-offs, all sorts over at The Glorious Idiot. So I'd appreciate it if you could nip over there. That is probably it for now. Um, so, without any further ado then, I will say, I've been Math. This has been Stug Radio's Retro Lounge. Until next time. Play something retro. Bye.